One of my favorite Cobras of recent. Good save. Hi, Granger. If somebody will remind me today, I want to put her with um, Thumb Nipper, you know, to try and breed them. Okay. That's I keep saying that and I forget to do it when we leave. That's going to be a lovely pair. <laughs> Welcome in, everybody. Really get really nice. Let's see if anyone asks me about my birth. What is that birth you're carrying? The satchel. <laughs> try to hold it. So. Good job. Hello, Moves. Hello, Crystal. Please, if you guys don't mind tap liking and sharing out the live, it'd be such appreciative. Do you want to mention the thing with uh, Crutchfield at the end? Oh, yeah, sure. As a reminder, at the end of today's extractions, Tom and Stacy Crutchfield are going to be joining the live and doing like a wheel for um, memorabilia. And then Tom is going to be showing some animals that he will be selling. So that will be at the end of the live. And he's going to autograph like the t-shirt and all that during the live. So stay tuned. Please, if you guys don't mind tapping and sharing out the live, it really helps. Well, Granger, I'm talking about TikTok, <laughs> but thank you, though. Thank you guys for the likes and everything. I appreciate it. Um, he's extracting venom from the cobras and stuff. Um, it's used for. Someone's asking, what's the need for this? Uh, a Nutrapharma produces a pain medication called myeloxin with uh, some of the proteins and enzymes from the monocle of cobra venom. Thank you for the follow. Please, if you guys don't mind tapping, liking, and sharing this, it really helps you guys. Thank you so much. And we really appreciate it. Yes, thank you for sharing it out. Does he have a certain amount of a type of snake to provide hospitals with a certain yield of venom? What was that? Does Do you have a certain amount of a type of snake to provide hospitals with a certain yield of venom? Uh, we don't provide any venom to hospitals. Right. Hospitals have no use for the venom. It's, it's the anti-venom that the hospitals need, which is made from, with the use of the venom, they inject uh, venom into horses for 13 months and immunize the horse, draw the blood out, spin it down, and the clear serum from the horse blood is what anti-venom is. But we don't, we've never sold venom itself to a hospital. And yes, Don Don, it is me. I'm sorry? Oh no, somebody was asking if that was me in the background talking. <laughs> there, there are instances, Ray, correct me if I'm wrong, where like, for example, some researchers at Duke maybe might buy the venom for for like research and different things like that, but that's not necessarily like a hot. That's thing. not, yeah. Yeah. I Someone mean, I, asked. I've, all my life I've sold venom to universities that are doing toxinology research, but 
but I've never sold a drop of venom to a hospital. Right. I mean, what would they do? Yeah. What would they use it for to kill? Hold on, I'll ask that. <laughs> IC5597 asks, Has, have you ever been bitten? Yes. Yes, actually very recently. <laughs> But yes, I've been bit uh, 59-ish times. If you guys have any questions, please, please feel free to ask. And thank you all for the tops and shares. Yeah. My hand was. I'm good, Don Don. Thank you, and you. Zach says, when we come over, can I work with Ray <laughs> for two days? What's that? Um, our friend Zach in South Africa said, can he work with you for two days? Sure. <laughs> you heard him, Zach. When it comes to work, I'm always happy to have somebody do my work for me. <laughs> hey, Chaz, what's up? Buddy? Hey, how's it going? All right, good to see you again. Yeah, you too. I got your letter inside. Oh, awesome. Thank you. Someone asked, have they ever gotten out? Never had an escape. I've never had an escape. Thank you, mods. I appreciate it. I'm new to this live. Came across my For You page. What type of place is this? Uh -huh. Sure. This is a venom extraction lab. Ray is extracting venom from one of the cobras for a company called Nutrapharma, who uses proteins and enzymes in the monocle cobra venom to produce a medication, a uh, pain medication called niloxin. Uh, well, don't have to be rude. Hello, KLS. Yes, 59 times. Chuck. Uh, thank you, Pace. Pace said you did a great breakdown on that. Who did? Who Pace said? said that about you. Thank you. She did what? No, we did not speak French, sorry. Do I speak French? Oh. I know one sentence in French. <laughs> oh, yeah. I bet. Chaz, je parle un peu de français et Chaz aussi. Chihuahua says it's safety chancletas. Safety what? Sandals. Yes, chancletas. I also speak Spanish. <laughs> What's the French comment say? Uh, I don't know. It was like, they just asked, do you speak French? Oh, okay. That was it. I was Wrong. like, no. <laughs> Any king cobras? No, these are monocles. Which country? This is the, in the United States of America, in Florida. No, um, someone's asking, what's the pouch around your waist? I said, they asked if that was anti venom. I said, nope. No, it's a, um, it's a portable vest worn defibrillator. A few weeks ago, I had a cardiac event and they installed this device on me in case it happens again. So it's a defibrillator. Thank you for the follows. 
No, I, I'm trying my hardest. Mm. Sorry, Zach. Sorry, T-Boss. I didn't see any comment from you. I read the Santa one. Oh, hey, Creature Preacher. He asked, how did you start this endeavor? How did what? Um, how did you start endeavor. this endeavor? Endeavor. Sorry. Uh, I got to think 35 years back. Just got a bunch of snakes. Found some people interested in buying venom. I had a few good mentors like Bill Haas, George Van Horn, Carl Barton, a few other venom extractors, Jim Harrison, and went from there. After this short, you want to take over? Sure. Uh, creature, creature said, wow, that's amazing. Do you take, D asked, do you take any of the venom for health benefits? I self immunize and I do use this venom in, in my in injections. Um, it's mostly as a uh, prophylactic to getting bit. Um, I, I inject myself with a mixture of nine different venoms build up resistance to the for when I do get there. Creature Preacher says, um, I've handled many venomous snakes, but I've never extracted the venom. That's good to hear. No, John. Because unless you're selling the venom to somebody, why stress out the snakes? You know, what I'm doing here, it doesn't hurt the snakes, but it, it uh, no doubt adds some stress to them. So if you don't need to do that, if you're not selling the venom, there's no reason to do it. It's much better for the snake not to stress them out. And additionally, so you don't have to grab close to the <laughs> bitey part and increase the risk of envenomation. Thank you, Creature Preacher. Yeah. <laughs> he said, absolutely flee. love the education here. Cool. Awesome. Now these by the snake. You are correct, <laughs> Pace. Is he yeah, he's extracting venom, Kaylee? Thank you guys for the follows and likes. It really helps. Also shares too. Hi, T-Waz. Good save. Oh, must cover your troubles. 59 times. Any rattlesnakes? Um, these are just the cobras right now. Hi, Hi Michelle. Yes. Bella. Yes, Wild. He's been great. How long have you been doing this for? Um, over 35 years. Yes. Have you been on your hand? No, just poop. Oh, yeah. He peed on me. Worse. Um, Kayla's. You should go pay for that. Someone. I could ask. Someone asked if you could bring a cover close to the screen. Yeah. Right yeah, he'll do it. Give him one moment. It's a. Hmm? It's for health reason, young breezy. Okay. They were asking the snake that bit the. Um, were you still able to get venom from it? Yes. The hook. Okay. Mm -hmm. They yes. never give all their venom in a bite. Yeah. Um. Is it lagging, you guys? Someone's asking. 
Oh, okay. Sorry, bleep. We're gonna bring that one up right yeah. All right, I was just making sure. Thank you, guys. Okay, I'll grab it. Oh, I'm sorry, you guys. We're trying our best. Sorry if there's a little bit of a lag. Oh, no, you're good. Don't worry. I, here's the cobra for the person that's asking. Is that a good spot? Yeah, that's good. Perfect. Let's see if he'll smile for us. Mm -hmm. Yep. Thank you. Look at those snappers. Can you see at that angle? Yeah, it was perfect. Oh, someone goes, I used to work for a company that had a pit viper in Utah, a pit viper farm in Utah. We made rattlesnake. I won't let me see. Anti-venom. That's cool. You made rattlesnake anti-venom. You must have had a lot of horses. I got to put him on. How often do you get venom from each cobra? Super Every cool. Every two weeks. Um, Erica asked, do you guys sell the venom to the hospitals? Hospitals have no use for venom. They only buy any venom. Ken, I think that's how you say your name. Ken said crow fad. We oh, had well, sheep. That, not, not that, they that. said they had sheep instead of horses. Had what? Sheep. sheep. For, for crow fad, they use sheep instead of horses. Yes, that's the only venom that does that. That's Pfizer. Or any venom that does that, huh? Pfizer is. Uh, um, it used to be Savage Labs. Oh, uh, okay. Used to make um. Han, you guys, sorry, I'm trying my best to read all these comments. Um. Do you yeah. and then Bled asked, "Do you have a snake that?" Where, where are we? Hold on, Bled, I'll know. ask. Are, are sorry. you guys caught up to where she can put these away? From? You can put. You can put away the first two. Sorry, I'm yeah, trying to ask you. Okay, I'll wait. Um, Bled asked, "Do you have a snake that you won't ever let go?" What's that? I guess like a snake that you won't ever give away or like sell. Someone said, what do you use the venom for? Just curious. Um, the venom is used for a drug called Nilox, and it's a pain medication, a non-addictive pain medication. Thank you. Read all about it more in this fancy new book. Oh, that jazz author say snakes save lives. Hey, snake lady. Do you have it right here? Chaz is one of our original snakes. Oh, that's a good um P and W. Oh, I'll ask him. Let me introduce to you guys a good friend of mine, one of our guest visitors today. This is Chaz. Oh. <laughs> this is Chaz. He wrote this wonderful book. I highly endorse it and recommend it. I have the digital version on my phone, and he brought. He was nice enough to bring me an autograph version here. Should I read it out loud? <laughs> no, it doesn't matter. Dear Dr. Ray Hunter, thank you for taking me under your wing and teaching me so much about venom and handling snakes. Stay safe. Stop getting bit, you fool you. <laughs> hey guys, I recommend this book. Can you tell them how they can get it? And the picture on the back is from... Here, get in there, Chad. Yeah. <laughs> Did I take it? Yeah. I ah, Photographer. Okay. You're just off screen making yeah. sure I don't get bit. That's tell right tell everyone how they can get a yeah, how they can buy this I, I highly time. recommend it. I think it's, it's like, uh, I don't know, it's like six bucks or something. Or no, it's like 15 bucks or something. It's pretty cheap. I mean, it's a pretty thin book. But basically what I talk about, I wrote this book for people who don't like snakes. So unfortunately, my target audience is never going to read it. But I want people to stop killing snakes, even venomous ones. So I talked about how venom is used in the history way back to Greeks, uh, all the way to current and future possibilities of using venom. Uh, we also look at other different venoms in it, like uh, cone snail venom, scorpion, stuff like that. So uh, the evolution medicinal snake venom for medicinal purposes awesome very well written got a lot of good information in it i actually learned quite a bit from reading the book yeah. myself so, <laughs> so if you guys want a good read a very good back. book i highly recommend this book very much so and it's on the amazon on amazon, amazon. Yeah. you can okay. get electronic or the paperback there's no hard copy right 
Because my friend was asking, he's like, get me one of those books. Oh, there you go. Available <laughs> in all countries. Yeah, that's yeah. Oh, it's available in all yeah, countries, yeah. Zach. You can get it. Oh, wait, you don't have Amazon okay. there. He's in South Africa. Oh, they should get it in South Africa. <laughs> they don't have Amazon. <laughs> yeah. I don't know South Africa. I thought that they... We're good. We, we can take it out. Found it interesting. Oh, we're in South Africa. Oh, you did? That's yeah. awesome. No, he said that they don't. On top of ZB. All right. I will try my best. Oh, Zach, you know you just asked Bill. T was at the end of the live. They are going to talk. Tom's going to be um, having merch that he is going to have. That's going to be a uh, not merch, uh, memorable, um, like stuff that he signed, like shirts and stuff. <clears throat> so maybe this is my first time watching you do this in person. Um. <laughs> uh, asked, "Do you have any pet snakes that won't kill you?" <laughs> yeah, I filled up the gallons. Do I have any that won't? Yeah, like no venomous, I guess. I I currently don't have any non-venomous snakes now. Where Where's this little buddy going? I don't know. You're in control I don't think I opened. Where does it go here? No, Tiwaz, I don't know where it is. Either does Bill. Let's see if you want some. We got plenty He's still looking, though. Okay. I'm sorry. Um, D Denise asks, what's the most venomous snake? In the world? In the world? Yes, I guess. Most venomous, by definition, means yield quantity. But I know that's not what you're asking. You're asking the most toxic. But to answer your question, literally, the most venomous snake Thank you, Crystal. would probably be the Eastern Diamondback, because it has the highest yield. Um... The most toxic drop for drop is the inland taipan from Australia. Yeah, it's actually the taipan. That's what well, um, he just said. The problem is you keep you, you're still doing it. You're dragging. I don't know why you're doing it that way. You're, you're dragging them off the pin table. Okay. So you're not going to be able to pin them. That's Philomena. She's taking over. Um, she's going to be taking over race um, spot. And we need to clean this up. Oh, yeah, I'm just going to put them on you. Can somebody get a no. towel or something? We're going to take over the comments really fast. Just read them. You got that fancy time, right? For me? Or Morgan. Read the comments really fast. We just can't tell those. Or the flip flops that's are very bad. We've got to do the nails. Yeah. Are flip flops required for handling snakes? Mm. Mm. <laughs> Not necessary, but optional. He must be an apprentice, no flip flops. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are we getting a flip flop comments already? Yeah, right. yeah. You're not wearing flip flops. That's right. inappropriate. Right. Get out. Uh, He's not an apprentice. I'm going to take a pause, go trim my yeah. cobra fingers. She's got some long claws that she has to file down. Not okay. All right, right, right. So here. I'll do one or Who's two until she gets back. I was here taking the. Chaz, can you back up, Ray? I'll be right back. I'll be back. I was here taking that infamous video of Philomena. Is there a nurse on hand in case someone yeah, gets yeah. bit? Oh, Absolutely oh, not. Your only means is 911. That gets more views than any, anything I've ever put up on. That's so funny, yeah. Yeah. That was uh, a sketchy dad. Let's go here. Who is she in the green? That'd be Philomena. Uh, one of Ray's mentories. What's the question here? Yeah. Yeah. Oh no, it's actually going on the top of the next one. Okay. Still two boots for handling snakes are a must. Uh, oh, Mark, I could... oh, I feel bad if you want to. No, no, you're good. I'm going to go back to this. 
Are the questions coming in about the snake proof flip flops? Someone said steel toe boots are steel boots for handling snakes are a must. I don't understand why, to be honest, because my feet are not what's in any danger of getting bit. My hands. Yet nobody asks why I don't wear gloves or comments about me not wearing gloves. Everybody is focused on my toes for some yeah. reason. It's the fetish. part that's least likely to ever get bit and has never been bit in 35 years, yet everyone's concerned about my feet. Someday I'm going to figure that out. Right now I can't. Because <laughs> you have that's beautiful feet. Huh? That's a for all about feet, you know? I Zach guess, said, I guess, funny. I guess snake people have foot fetishes. That's what I said. Zach said, it's funny. I also handle my venomous snakes with foot flops or barefoot. And no shirt. And no shirt. Yeah. Why are the snakes? The hands are what's going to get bit, not my feet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I'm not sure why there's such a concern about that. But... Tiwa said, gloves can get snagged easily on. Th <laughs> Sorry, Tiwa said, gloves can get snagged easily on things. Sense of touch is diminished as well. Exactly. I don't wear gloves because it restricts my movement and everything. Um, I don't feel like I have the dexterity. Joelle says, oh wait, sorry. This is ultimate Pure Venom, which is Zach says, yep, no shirt is the best. Do I have a favorite snake? Um, I like my bull snake, but uh, if it's like venomous, I like our... I like viper bows. Oh, the viper bows? Yeah, that we got. They're pretty. Um, my favorite for venomous is probably the gabinos. The, uh, snakes wear shoes. Yeah, why don't the snakes wear shoes? Someone said that's what Dr. Haas said until Cobra jumped his hook and ended up on the floor. Um, oddly enough, Dr. Haas is not a doctor. He did not even have a high school education. <laughs> but he was a brilliant man. I will say that for him. But no. He's not, he never was a doctor. Yeah, not, not Hi, snake crazy. lady. He was smarter than every doctor I know, but... How much venom comes out of each yeah. snake? Wanna... Full rainstorm. I only did two, so you got. Okay, cool. Is it raining? Yep. Yeah, it's pouring. Um, he's um extracting Small venom, Joel. <laughs> Hi, John. So you start on here. Much better. Excuse me. You want to get out of here? Yeah, this is Cobra Steel. Yeah, you have a good knock if you can. Careful. Yeah. Yeah, you can Watch the Gavarli go. She would have went up her leg and she would have started to go to the I just had one on my leg. Oh. So you're gonna, if you walk out in the grass, you're probably get more. Every two weeks, Dennis. Uh, Sneak Lady said, look at filming to go. You're awesome, girl. Only as good as the train, girl. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Ready, girl? I got the best trainer. I'm going to let him go. Oh, I don't need to be ready. You need to be ready. Well, you're <laughs> close you're it's close okay, Flynn. Say it. I'm always ready, so I'll, I'll give you a universal a yes. <laughs> okay. Exactly. Let's go on. If you guys don't mind tap liking and sharing, that would help a lot. Thank you. How much is the venom worth? Daddy's girl is asking. It generally sells anywhere from two to four hundred dollars a gram. Depends on who you're selling it to. Wait, is this correct? Just a heads up, the top two were filled. Top two but on the right column. Oh, on the far right. Yeah, because it's off. How many right. snakes do you have? Yeah, I think he started. He started in the top two when you were outside. On oh, Joel. Where you at here? No. Yeah. You, but you have two on the right side. I just went here, so this one will be next. So I'm confused. Should I put it? Yeah, that should have been over here. Thank you. No, no, no. 
Oh, no, it's okay, lady. It's not that scary. Yes, um, fifty nine times. Is the venom hard to find, and how much will it cost? Is it hard to find? Yeah. No, it's in the glands. Each one of the snakes has it in their glands. I guess if they want to buy venom. No, you can't. Oh. oh. You would have to buy it from a venom producer. It's not something you can get at Walmart. And someone said, what is your longest snake? Um, up until recently, I had a 13 foot king cobra, but it, it passed away a couple months ago. So I would say probably now about six and a half or seven feet. Oh, no, it's okay, lady. You're good. Oh, thank you for joining the team. Put yeah. it in. Yes, I can. Um, PNW Pales asks, can you ask Dr. Ray what got him into his career? About what? What got you into this career? Um, same thing. Uh, basically, I yeah, I can ask him. Homestead. South Miami, and we used to always go to Miami Serpentera, and when Bill Haas operated that, um, so I developed an interest in reptiles. And um, when I went to school and to college, I studied toxinology and herpetology and stuff like that. Ended up getting a doctorate in science. Someone asked, "Do you have crow the crow fab?" I don't Pro stop Profab because okay. all the hospitals here have it, so there's no sense in me shilling out the added expense of it. I do stop antivenoms, exotic antivenoms, stuff that hospitals won't have here, um, but there's no point in me buying Profab when the hospitals have it anyway. Quick question. Maybe while we're waiting for the hey, Dr. Hunter. Done, these can get put away? Yeah. Yeah. Who yeah. wants to? Anybody? Someone. I would love to. I'm going to. Ana Anayua? Go for it. Hey, Dr. Hunter, it's Native Wildlife. That first one. It's Someone what? said, hey, Dr. Hunter, it's we Native Wildlife. Yeah. yeah. It was actually spicy when he opened it. I don't know. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was super spicy. Was super Somebody spicy. said, this person, her. So it's nice to finally meet you, by the way. Hey, Dr. Hunter, it's yeah, Native Wildlife. Native Wildlife. Lucy, so I started... Oh, hey, Native Wildlife song. Last year. <laughs> oh, I got a phone call from my dean. I will. You ready? Oh, thank you for the gifts. Thank you. Oh, Sorry, Hyper Dad said you hand that cobra like a boss. That goes, yeah. Hi, Terry Puppy. You, you did really good. Did. Everybody was cheering you on. No, it's the one that bit me recently. You got bit recently? Yeah, what was that? They said, June been a long year? time, buddy. Oh, okay. So what was that, just like a little bit of tingling in your vine? No, no, no I was on one. I almost died. I really yes, died. yes. Yeah. me and Bill, well, 59 years. times. So, I was on a yeah. bed for a couple of minutes. Um, it's Chandra, it's used to make like medicines and stuff. Even, still, even though that was that long ago, my hand's still swollen. No, oh, if you know, then you know. Hey, Philomena, it's Dallas from Facebook. Hey! Yes, Poppy, it is. That is Cat Philman, one tired Pappy. Oh, look, and your ultimate pure venom is on. Hey, yeah. guys, that's Zach. I know. <laughs> Zach's been trolling me the whole time. Yay! Oh, is that? That's, that seems a Brazilian Portuguese word. It is more. Oh, shit. We'll Boy, the, it's pouring. How long from the snake bite do they have before it can kill you? Hey, Zach. So, I can answer that. They're doing stuff. Oh, thank you, puppy. Bye bye. 
Guys, please don't do that to me, okay. please. Yep. Everybody, please do not do that, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll kick your ass yeah, for yeah, it. Yeah. Right. <laughs> we'll kick it. No, don't get it. All right. Oh, that's how you got bit last time? Yeah. Huh. From that same one. That very one. That's why we're all like, ooh. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Good job, Mark. Good job. Let me just talk to that. Put and chew in each one. Mm -hmm. two, I think so. Yeah. There's At least, yeah. Ray, the question was, how long from envenomation do you have, basically, till it kills you? Yes, he was um, at the end. He'll show it. Oh, thank you, Tennessee, for the gifts. Very kind of you. Certainly, you'd want to be to the hospital yeah. within an hour. Yeah. yeah. Zach, I'm trying my best. If you're allergic to any of the fractions of the venom, you would die much quicker. It was on Morgan's boxes. bottom. Yeah, so within an hour, for sure, as Ray said. Can, uh, That's not to say they can't kill you quicker, but hmm. there, I'm sure there would be different things that would contribute, such as the yield, anaphylaxis, yeah. all of that, right? Where you're bitten. Where you're bitten. Yeah. Good call, Phil. Oh, they don't want to see. Oh, who cares? Tush. Tush. Um, your friend says, remind me of the days cleaning cages with Albert Killian back in the days. Oh, Albert, yeah. He's still around. There's Chaz. He doesn't have as many snakes now, but he's still around. Good job, Mark. I know, I'm dying. Damn. You want me to go lower the air? By the time we do, we'll be done. I was going to do it earlier, and I forgot. Someone says, how often do they eat? Every two weeks, we feed them. I thought that said Ninka Poop. It says Mary Kavithia. 